developer world. Hi, I'm Marcus here at Sony Ericsson. Today I want to show you some demos from the technology research section here at Sony Ericsson. With the next set of web standards like HTML5, CSS3 and WebGL, it will be possible to make web applications for smartphones with capabilities that was only possible for native applications before. Qualcomm has created a version of the NeoCore benchmark that are only using web technologies. Of course, the original application is written in Java and OpenGL ES. This demo, however, is a port of that same code, so that the NeoCore you see here is fully written in the open standards of HTML, JavaScript and WebGL. This demo shows a 3D scene with animations. It exemplifies what will be possible in the near future. Please note there is no plugin required. This demo runs in a modified Android browser running on Gingerbread with support for WebGL. This is the Shiny Teapot demo. The demo is available in the Kronos demo repository. In this demo, we have HTML text in the background and we have a 3D object rendered above the text. You can also interact with the 3D object on top. This is the SpiderGL cube map demo. SpiderGL is an open source library that is using WebGL. This example is not modified at all. No optimizations for mobiles. You can see the camera and the teapot rotating. So what we've shown you here today is only a prototype of what we've done here at Sony Ericsson. But if you want to know more about WebGL, you can go to Developer World or you can also visit us at the 2011 Game Developer Conference in San Francisco. Developer World